Good afternoon and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Zoe and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Zoe's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give while we're working with her, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. And the correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Zoe's been fitted with her own personal training collar and we will show you how to properly put that collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Now Zoe is sitting very nicely on Fred's left hand side and that's where all of our obedience training takes place. The first command they're going to demonstrate for you is healing and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Zoe take off doing that now and the command that you're going to give is Zoe heal and you're going to simply start walking and then Zoe should fall in line nicely healing appropriately on your left hand side. She should be keeping pace with you at all times whether you're walking at a faster pace or a slower pace and she should not be lagging behind or lunging ahead and pulling on that leash. If she is to do so, tell her no in a firm voice followed by a tug and release on the correction collar and repeat the heal command. We've also gone ahead and incorporated an automatic sit into our healing exercise, which means every time that you stop walking, she should sit nicely at your left heel position, and there was an example right there, and you'll see them frequently throughout the video here. If she does not automatically sit, tell her no, give a tug and release on that correction collar towards the rear, rear and give her the command to sit. Now the next command that they're going to demonstrate for you is the stay command, and it's a hand and voice command. Use the open flat of your left palm in front of her muzzle and the one word command to stay and walk out to the end of the leash. Now Zoe should remain seated in this position and should not break. And this is a command that you're going to want to practice very often with her to help build up her self-control and maturity skills and enable her to sit and stay for longer periods of time. When you're practicing at home, start at about one minute and increase your intervals working up to a total of three minutes for your long sit stay. When Fred returns back, he's going to walk all the way around behind in a counterclockwise motion and returning so that Zoe is directly on his left hand side once again. And they're going to go ahead and demonstrate that heel automatic sit and stay for you again. And again, if she does not follow through with the command, first word out of your mouth is a nice firm no, followed by a correction on the correction collar and repeating the command that she did not follow through with. When she does complete her commands appropriately, let her know so by using lots of positive reinforcement, whether you're verbally praising her and telling her she's a good girl and doing a good job, or physically praising her by giving her a little pet on the head there. So Fred goes ahead and leaves her in another sit stay, and this time they're going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. You're going to call Zoe in using her name and a happy voice. She should then get up and come in and sit directly in front of you again and then heel her around the back of you, returning her back to your left hand side where she should again sit nicely. Nicely done. We'll show that again. Leave her in a sit stay out to the end of the leash. Give her a moment to hold her sit stay and then call her in using her name in a happy tone. She should again sit nicely. Very good. And around the back of you, returning her to your left hand side, sitting nicely. Good girl. automatic sit. Now this next command they're going to demonstrate is the first of our down commands and it's the down from a heel position. Again use the open flat of your left palm but this time straight down towards the ground and the one more command to down. Then give the stay command and walk out to the end of your leash again. And with the down stay she should remain laying down and should not break. And this command you want to practice often as well to help build up her ability to down stay for longer periods of time. And when you're practicing the down stay with Zoe, start at about three minutes and increase your intervals working up to a total of five minutes for your long down stay. Once again, return back by walking all the way around behind in a counterclockwise motion around Zoe, returning so that she's back on your left hand side. And although you should be practicing your commands every day, and incorporating them into your everyday activities and schedule, you want to make sure that at least for the first couple of weeks that she's home, you set aside about 10 to 15 minutes every day to work her through her commands in a formal obedience training session. It's great practice for the both of you and it will help greatly with her transition back into the house. 
So Fred goes ahead and leaves her in another down stay. He'll give her a moment to hold that, and then they'll demonstrate that recall command from the down position for you this time. Word of advice is gather that leash as she's coming in in front of you, so in case she gets out of hand, you can give her a correction and you'll have that leash in your hand. Good girl. And then the last command that they're healing into position four is the second of our down commands, the down from a distance. For this command, you're going to leave her in a sit stay. Walk out to the end of the leash. And from the end of the leash, use your right hand to give the down command, where she should then go into a down right where she is sitting. You did see at the beginning there that when Fred went to walk away, she did budge just a little, and all he did was tell her no, repeated the stay command, didn't even need a correction, and she followed through. We'll go over all this with you during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Zoe has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Zoe, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.